Well, I just finished racing Taiwan on here at the Poconos, and all things considered, I thought she raced very, very well. Uh, some of you that maybe aren't involved with her ownership don't know the full story of what took place last week, two weeks ago almost. Taiwan on shipped all the way to Philadelphia as an even money favorite, I think, got beaten, got beat soundly. Uh, we scoped her after, little redness on her palate, lots of mucus in her throat. She was sick. She was sick. So now, it's not like she's sick. Oh, give her some time. She's going to ship six and a half hours back to the meadows. She did. We ran fluids through her, started her on antibiotics, and then shipped her to Northfield. I wanted her uh, at our home track for us to look at all week. We treated her with antibiotics. The vet did. Ran fluids through her all week. Kept a close eye on her. She felt good all week. Trained her on uh, Wednesday. She trained good. But we had taken her blood that morning taking her blood that morning. I should have maybe taken it the day before, but that would have screwed everything up, I suppose, anyway. So I took her blood that morning. She trained great. I thought her blood would come back good. It came back still with an elevated white count, which was very surprising to me, given the way that she had trained. So we kept her on the full course of antibiotics, kept running fluids through her. I believe the vet maybe even given her a shot of, of Extem uh, after she trained on Tuesday or Wednesday. At that point, to be quite frank, I was not certain that this filly would be able to race on, on Sunday, today. The vet was confident she would and he did a great job getting her getting her blood under control, getting her good again to come here. Another six, six and a half hour ship down to the Poconos to race here today. And you could see by the way I drove her that I was very concerned, especially after the horse that had very similar blood, very similar situation was Blue by Udeo, who was maybe 85% yesterday. Certainly was nowhere near 100% if she was, she was going to the winner's circle, but she raced adequate. She stayed in Lexington, but this in my mind gave me a pretty good indicator of what I was dealing with going into today. I didn't want to blast her out of the gate. I didn't want to put her in a position to do what, ha do what, do what she did in Philadelphia, and that would be weaken on the end of the mile. Put her in the middle of the pack, give her a chance to pick up some points, pick up some money, and do the best she could, and that's exactly what she did. She raced as good as she did, could, finished up very, very strong today for Philly, coming in with questionable with a, a questionable situation surrounding her. So I thought she raced good after the race. She wasn't blowing hard. She seemed very content, very happy. So I think both the vet and us and Tim had her just about as good as she could be today. Having said that, I still don't think she was near 100%. Now, going into the Meadows, I think if she finishes first or second in the last leg, probably punches her ticket to the final. Anything outside of that, she's likely in the consolation, which may not be a bad thing overall anyway. So another good scenario for one of our two-year-olds heading into the last leg and the last part of the sire stakes here in her jurisdiction. So Taiwan on raced very, very well today. I was very happy with her. The thing I liked about her was she was smart coming out of the gate. She wasn't hot. This is a Philly we wore a snake cord on at the start of the year. Coming out of the gate, I looked left, I could see what was taking place. I knew that maybe Jason Bartlett would dump me in in front of him hoping I was gonna come. I didn't really let him in on the secret that I wasn't. But um, I was very happy with the way she raced today. So a good race for her. I'd say all things considered an okay weekend. Slim Jimmy was awesome. Uh, Blue Bayou Deal was absolutely as good as she could be and she will be on all eight cylinders next week. Garden State Dio still waiting to get the blood work back to find out exactly what's going on with her. And then Unbeatable Kemp, uh, I slept good last night because for the most part I knew what was going on. Blue Bayou Dio will fix herself over the next eight days. You just have to take care of her, make sure she gets vitamins. Unbeatable Kemp, the veterinarian, assured me he's on top of it. He can have him patched up and ready to go in eight days. And Garden State Dio is the only question mark looming from this weekend. So we'll see. That will likely be answered within the next couple of hours. Um, I suspect what we'll see is an elevated AST on her, hopefully one that we can combat again in that eight day time frame. So that is it, it's a wrap here from the Poconos. Amy and I, you can see my brother Mark probably making stupid faces in the background. I'm here with Mark and Amy. Unfortunately, Mark has to go to Yonkers tonight. Just Amy and I hanging out here at the Poconos for the whole night, gonna get some food, maybe go to the casino, and uh, head back to reality tomorrow. But for the weekend here at the stable, another great weekend, Slim Jimmy, Blue Bayou Dio, Ty went on, all hit the board, all race good in their staking jurisdictions. I will take care of, I will talk to you guys soon. And head back and take care of Ty went on uh, and then take care of my stomach shortly after that. But for now, I'm telling you right now, best case scenario was what just took place today at the Poconos. Very happy with the tenacity and the power of Ty went on. Talk to you all very soon. Take care.